everybody. This is Bobby with bobbystamps.blogspot.com. It has been a very long time since I posted a video. If you guys are following me on my channel, you know I just recently did redid my craft room and I've been out of commission it seems like for two weeks. I don't think it's been that long but it's been a while since I've been able to just relax and make cards and this is the first one I've made since my craft room got tore apart. And I hope you guys like it. I love the color. It kind of, I was kind of like stuck on the um, technique I used, the emboss resist with the fall card that I did the other day. So I decided I was going to do one using the Star of Light. Um, I love the stamp set. It's very, very pretty. It's got some very pretty images in it and some very pretty scenes. Since I used the glimmer paper, I decided to use the um, shine. Just simply, that's what it says, is just shine on the bottom of the card. And again, with this card, I went a little bit too dark on the onset of it. So I am going to start off and do a little bit of a lighter hand um, instead of doing going so dark. So our card base is Knight of Navy. And we'll just go ahead and score that while we have this out and put it to the side. And then we're going to use a piece of glimmer paper, and this is the silver glitter paper. And this is four, or I'm sorry, five and a quarter by four. And then we're going to use a piece of whisper white that is five by three and three quarters. And let me grab my mat to do, I think I'm not going to use that right now actually. So we're also going to use the punch. I was going to look up the name of this punch and totally forgot to look it up before I started. But I will put it on my supply list like I always do um, on my blog. So just visit my blog if you want the supply list. We're going to use Versamark. We're going to use the Knight of Navy ink, Basic Gray, and Pacific Point. And then we're also going to be using the um, Silver Embossing Powder. And then we will also be using clear embossing powder. Um, and then we will use the ribbon is going to be the um, silver 1 8 um, inch ribbon. And then you will need a small strip of vellum to um, stamp our sentiment. And I thought I had it laying out here. I might have to. Here it is. So this, this is going to be what we'll do our sentiment on. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to open each one of these up and I just kind of put my finger dauber right in front of the one that it goes with. And then we're just going to start and like I said I'm just going to kind of go really really light to start out because what builds the image is when we do the um, emboss resist. So, and then we'll do the Knight of Navy. I love this color. Or actually this one's uh, Pacific Point. Okay, I think we have them. Um, blended good enough to start us out. So we will grab, I must have put it up, I thought I still had it out. We're going to grab the star, the biggest one right there, and we'll just mount that. I used my big block, and then with the Versamark on a stamp this big, I like to just lay it flat and go over it like that. And so we'll just do this the way I did it before. I just did it center of the page. I always forget to use my um, Stampin' Buddy, I think, Embossing Buddy, um, when I'm going to emboss. Every time I forget. And then I'm like, oh, I should have used that. And then on this, we're going to use the swirl. And the same thing, I just inked it up. And the way I did this was I kind of went in on this side with the swirl. And then I went in on this side. Okay. 
and then I did the same thing and you can kind of hold it up to the light to see where your star top and bottom is and then I'm just going to flip it over to the other end now and use the bigger end we really don't want to touch it that much because you don't want to get your fingerprints on it and then we're just going to bring that in there like so and you can kind of see it even though when you do that and then we're going to bring in the clear embossing powder cover this up just really quick so we don't get anything on it that's not supposed to be on it I'm trying to pick this up without touching it and then just slide it all around in the clear embossing powder I'm going to turn it and do the opposite direction you just want to make sure you're getting the embossing powder on all of it and then once I do that I like to just kind of go over the edges where my fingers might have been where they weren't supposed to be just want to make sure we're getting it on every piece that we whoops that we want it on and then flick it off we want to make sure that we get all of that off there that we can kind of hard to do that one handed okay I'm going to turn on my heat gun so it might be a little bit loud I'm going to let it warm up I like to let it warm up before I actually start um, putting it towards the paper just give it a few minutes kind of see when it starts melting it just instead of looking like a powder it just kind of goes clear I don't know if you guys can see the image changing or not because it's clear it kind of makes it harder there on the darker purple you can probably see it easier just want to make sure we get it everywhere where we're going to be putting the ink so just go over it meticulously just a minute and make sure I got on this corner where my fingers might have been I think I got it all okay so now I like to kind of just let it set and rest for a minute I don't like to like jump right in and start doing anything with it so we'll just go ahead while we're waiting and we'll do our sentiment really quick so this is cut where it's not quite as wide as the punch so you just want to I'm just trying to make sure that I get it squared and that worked pretty well so we're just gonna have that right there okay and then we're going to take the sentiment the one that says shine and we'll just ink that up in the Versamark And then I'm going to try to get it off that paper so I can kind of see a little bit better. I'm trying not to get my head in it, but I still want to try to get it as centered as I can get it. And I wiggled it a little bit, so that might have that might have smeared it a little bit and might have gotten it off from being straight, but we'll find out in just a second doesn't look too bad could have been better okay now you can see I got a little bit around the top and I keep a little paintbrush 
and you can just brush that off and you can see I got it just a tad bit crooked but it's okay I could I could feel that it kind of like shifted on me when I pushed okay so now we're going to emboss this really quick the heat gun's already getting hot so it shouldn't take as long and you guys can see it starting to change already not pretty take near as long you can see it says shine and it is shiny okay now we'll jump back in and start bringing this emboss resist through to the surface isn't that beautiful love 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 this technique so pretty Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the basic gray. Whoops. That's one thing we want to be careful about when you're pushing really hard like that. Your paper can crinkle on you. And then you just keep building on the layers. And then it's it's like the darker you keep going with it, the more you can see the embossed image in the background. I'm gonna go back in with some of this <clears throat> basic gray. And I'm just trying to stamp off a little bit so that way I'm not trying to get the, the ink, um, the little round images. That drives me nuts when you can see that on the cards. <laughs> so I'm trying to get that a little bit blended in better. And then we'll go back in with Knight of Navy again. just going to keep blending. I'm just going to bring all the colors together. I'm just going to keep going and um, just get them all nicely blended together. Okay. And I'm going to go back down here some more. Let me get around that edge. I'm trying to get where it looks like it's a little bit lighter in color, just a tad bit darker. I think I'm going to get some of this gray and kind of bring it down in here. Just to darken that up just a little bit. Don't want to do too much down in there. Just a little bit. And I think I'm going to do just a little bit more up here. Really make that star pop. I'm just trying to get all the colors blended into that um, star. It's so pretty. I just love it. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and close up these ink pads. And then grab the ribbon. And you can just measure your ribbon like so. Super quick. I don't know if I've showed you guys, I think I have, but the technique I use to keep my ribbon from going everywhere is I just take a little bit of tape and put it on there. We'll grab our tape and we'll just put this down around the bottom. Okay. 
And then I just use a little bit of the tape to just hold that in place. I'm going to flip it over and make sure that we have it straight. And then we'll bring in the glitter paper. And you could do it this way too and have it open that way if you wanted to, but I just chose to have it go that way. I'm going to use Fast Fuse just because this is a, the glitter paper is just a little bit heavier paper and the Fast Fuse works like a charm on that. And then we'll just flip that over and place it on our card front. Now I uh, chose to use dimensionals to pop the card up because I just wanted that depth instead of having it just go right against the um, the card or the glitter paper. I wanted it to, to be a little bit higher. And I don't want to have to stop to grab dimensionals. All I have is edges left. Let's just do just a couple of the big ones right here. Because I used quite a bit because I really wanted it popped up. And we'll do one more right there, okay? The longest thing that takes, the longest on this is, you know, blending all those colors together. And it's a messy job if you can't tell from my fingers. <laughs> but I don't mind when we're creating such pretty cards to make the mess and it'll all come off. It'll all come off in the wash. And I do like this one better than the first one. My first one was a little bit darker, I think. Um, I think it's because I went darker later than what I did with that one. I kind of went darker first, kind of like I did with the first one. And then for our shine, We'll just grab a couple of glue dots, and if you put it behind the silver, it won't even, you won't even be able to see it. So you got to kind of be strategic like that. Okay. And there you go, guys. Super pretty card. Quick. You can make a little note on the inside. I think I might add another glue dot there. It, it's stuck to the ribbon is why it's doing that. But there you go, guys. Make sure that you visit my blog. I'm going to be posting a picture, um, a video of my updated craft room here in the next couple of days. And I hope you like this card. And if you want the supply list, make sure you visit my blog. It's bobbysamps.blogspot.com. Thanks, guys.